Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, and welcome to another episode of our Fun Fitness Fridays, where we make fi uh, fitness fun. And what we are going to show you today is a our very popular Fit Move circuit. This is one of my favorite um, types of movement because it keeps me moving, and I go from one thing to the next, and I have a lot of fun. So. So our, our director of movement play and exercise, Tim Drown, is behind the camera and he is gonna talk me kind of through this um, circuit and I'm excited to show it to you. So I hope you have fun. Uh, and if you are interested as we move through, and I'll say this again at the end, if you're interested in having one of these made specifically for you with any kind of um, you know, injuries or pain that you might be having and you wanna try to get, uh, get yourself a little bit more mobile and out of pain, we can design one of these for you. You just need to um, message us below, Fit Friday, please, and we'll do that for you. So, um, or you can call us. All right, Tim, go ahead. So Hi. you'll notice that there's four pieces of equipment. So the, the first thing is the setup. So we use a box. If you don't have a box, you can use uh, just a walk in place. And then you'll notice that we have uh, a couple of other items we have. Can you go and show us the band, Annie? So we have a band set up that we're gonna use. And I pan over a little bit, and then there's a medicine ball that we're gonna use. And then I'm just gonna have, a, we have a yoga mat with a ball on it. And the last piece of equipment that we're gonna use is some dumbbells. So those are the four pieces of equipment that we're gonna use plus the steps. So Annie's just gonna start by stepping up, up, down, up, down, a good cadence. Again, remember, if you don't have a box, then just walk in place. Now, we're not gonna have Annie go through uh, the, the time sequence. We just wanna show you what a sample workout looks like. She'll, so she'll stop and then she's gonna go over to the band and Annie's gonna do something that we call step and press. So she's, she's gonna stand up and she's gonna press up. If this is similar to a bench press, um, most people are familiar with that, but we like this because there's a ton amount of work going on both at her ankle, her knee, her hip, her low back, her chest, her posture she's working on. And so this is again, this is what we call simply step and press. And notice the positive shin angle that she's getting at the knee. So that the knee should be slightly bent. Her posture is fantastic, her head's up, and she's simply stepping and pushing out. To make it a little bit harder, she'll do one hand at a time. So it looks like this. So there's your, there's your modification. Okay, so this is much more advanced, this is harder. Don't worry about which hand, which foot, that's unimportant. Um, so again, this is step and press, or what we call a unilateral step and press. Okay, Annie then comes back to the box. So the sequence is, you're gonna come and do what we call a energy system or cardio uh, activity, which would be the box. We like a box because it's really phenomenal for strengthening the glutes. Um, and most of us, we have what we call lazy butt from sitting all day. So we want to strengthen the glutes for lots of reasons, both aesthetic as well as um, very functional. All right, so she's going to stop and we're going to have her go to the medicine ball. And we're going to do something fun called the slam down. So Annie's going to, you've seen us do this before. We have done this at the track. Um, so she's slamming the ball down up above her head and she'll stop and then she'll come right back to the box. So it's a very simple sequence. I think I... And stop. Okay, let's come back to the next thing that you're going to do. And she's going to do, Annie's going to lay on her back, put the ball between her legs. And this is called a hip bridge. Again, this is great for low back health as well as she's going to strengthen her glute. So she simply goes up, holds, and then come on down. Instead of coming all the way down, just pause at the bottom and go right back up. And you want to try to get as high as you can. So we'll have Annie go up a little bit higher, come on down, drive all the way up, come on down. Have, um, and you, let's have her hands go out a little bit wider. Um, the light, wider they go, then we're getting open up the pec and the, and the the chest muscle, which is really good because that gets tight from being on the computer. Okay, Annie, go ahead and stop. Let's go back to the box. This time, Annie, when you do the box, let's go side to side. So she's gonna step right, step right over the box. And this is an old aerobics uh, move, and so Annie's pretty happy about that. Uh, you don't have to move your hands, but you can if you want to. So again, the reason why I want to go front to back and now side to side is that we move in multiple planes. We move in multiple directions. So this is one way to address that. Okay, go ahead and stop, Annie. 
And now let's come back, come to the dumbbells. And this time Annie's gonna do what we call a side lunge. Let's have you, yep, perfect. And then she's gonna do over overhead press. So a lot of stuff's going on. Side reach, overhead press. And we've done this one too. So we've tried to use some of the same exercises that you've done before um, and you've seen before and hopefully you've, you've started doing some of them. Again, a couple more, side reach. Let's progress a little bit here, make it a little bit harder. So now she's gonna go all the way down to the ground with them and then square up, drive up. So it's very simple, drive down, square up, drive up. One more on each side. Good, okay, and let's go back to the box. Side to side again. And she's simply stepping up. We do want you to get your whole heel up on that box. You don't have to rush. You can increase the size of the box if you want it more difficult. Annie, just march in place. So if I don't have a box, what would I do? And that's very simple. Make it a little bit harder by bringing your knees up higher. See, she brings them up higher. Okay, if I want to even make it more advanced, I can do a jumping jack. And Annie also did run in place, but we do a jumping jack. Okay, and that's it. So those that's how we complete a circuit. We have functional strength exercises, alternating with um, energy system, cardiovascular. You can see her heart rate's up. So fit moves are fun. They're functional. Um, we can design them for fat loss. We can design, if you have an injury, we can design them to help you get out of pain. There's all sorts of things that we can do with fit moves. So uh, once again, um, if you want one of these, then um, email us. Annie will go over how she wants to do that again. Um, for a very special rate, we'll create a customized personal one just for you. All right, and if the, again, so you can write comment right below um, Fitness Fridays, and we will send you something back for, um, or we'll talk to you so that we can get one specifically for you. So we'll email you. Um, so if you don't want to do the email whole email thing, you can at Annie at shapingperspectives.com or you can just comment below Fun, Fun Fitness Fridays or Fitness Fridays and um, we will get in touch with you that way. So that way you can talk to us, tell us what's going on and we can design one right for you. What's really great about this is like you just don't get bored. It's quick, it's easy and, and before you know it, you're working hard and you're done just like that. So I hope you have a fabulous Friday. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.